I'm sorry, I think the Gen 1 rules are actually if they body slam, you get paralyzed. <laughs> if they use double slap, they'll hit you four times. Yeah. If I use double slap, I'll, I'll get three hits once in my whole life and wonder if I was imagining it. Hey everybody, welcome back. We have all three of us again. No. Oh, I all right, I'll leave. It. I, I gotta make it so the Discord is on screen again, don't I? I completely forgot about that thing. Wow. Uh, there we go, and it's got a bunch of other junk with it that I will now fix on screen. I fixed it. <laughs> Beautiful. And just as a reminder, so you guys can see what we're all looking at here. Uh, there we go, just made it so the guys can see the whole overlay. I know it's not October anymore. I was gonna say we're sticking to this, I see. It's not October anymore, but I want to get one more use out of this just because I'm really happy with it. <laughs> so, we're now playing all watching what the audience is seeing with the skeletons and whatnot. I do like it. I know I only signed on to this Let's Play for Lent Hill. Yeah, specifically for Lent Hill. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this is the new team that What a Geek threw together for us. Let's take a take a look at this. This looks probably like it's pretty much what we've already been using in other what in, the uh, uh, tribe. Uh, what? Somebody get screwed up? Three of them are 52, even though I very specifically <laughs> oh. made it so that each oh, there God were four damn 51s it. and two 52s, and I adjusted EXP to level, and one of them still decided <laughs> it's going to be level 52. I bet you anything, we can still make it through. All right, we're at least going to see how far we can make it with this team, because I'm <laughs> curious. All right, let's... Let's get this going. We gotta, so we have Great Ball Cup. That shouldn't be too bad. We want it. we only have four cups left, then Mewtwo, then we're done the game. All right, so we can't use Namael Kadachi Volvodon. We can't use all three of them at the same time, but we can use any other combo. Uh, yeah. That's not that bad. Okay, what are we fighting here? Oh, God, psychic types. Um, Namael Kadachi, whatever, yo. Yeah, cause psychic <laughs> is still psychic is still really good. Uh, Kadachi, whatever you. Okay, it's it's round one, so let's just jump in. So this should still be okay. They got a lot of poison types. We still have good Pokemon. Chances are, okay, good. I was gonna say chances are they didn't take no ghosts. Okay, yeah, that would be uh, psychic. A little bit weird. How bad is this actually gonna be? Cause Gengar's got quite a bit of special. Special fall, cool. Okay. Hypnosis is 55 accuracy. This is a coin flip. He's gonna hit us. It's gonna happen. Uh, we, we just started. They have to hit us right when we just start. So you thinking Dream Eater is a gimmick? Nope, switch. No? <laughs> Get him out. <laughs> okay. Maybe it realizes that uh, it can't do a whole lot of damage to you because you're psychic type. Coming out with the heavier hitter. Ghastly. Uh, do you think maybe Ghastly has Thunderbolt for type coverage? Maybe that's why they switched? Okay, good. Go for Dream Eater. Damn. Okay, well, that's still garbage. Here's an interesting <laughs> thing regarding Volvodon in the save that I have. Okay. Uh, in editing it right now in Pika Save, I'm trying to adjust its level and then clicking the option to adjust EXP to level. Mm -hmm. But each time I do that, even like toggling one level above or below or what have you, the EXP stays the exact same. I see. Hmm. I've never used Pika Save. I've only been told that it's a total bitch to use. Uh, so what? In other words, uh. Every time I go to uh, adjust EXP to level, no matter what level it is, it will treat it as though it is level 52. That is baffling. Um, I'm going to go see what uh, the EXP yield surf? for level 51 is going to be. I'm going to just surf and see what this does. Surf or stab? Yeah. I imagine it's not going to do a ton because he's got high special. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Hmm. Hypnosis guy. You think they're not using Dream Eater because they see that it's not very effective and so they don't want to use it? I think that they're just using Hypnosis and Psywave because that's the gimmick. 
because Juggler is kind of like a gambler, so they're using Psy Wave, which is a gambling move. I guess. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, that's not going to work. So. I do like the animation for it, though. Yeah, it's all right. Probably should be purple, though. Just because it seems psychic and ghostish, and both of those are kind of purple themed. I think that they, there's too many moves that are purple already. That's probably why they went with that. Uh, you know what? There might even be a move with an animation like that that already is purple. Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me. Some draining move. I don't know. Like, like a lot of the moves are like these weird screen effects that are woobly or something. Mm hmm. So. Okay, well. Once we take out Hypno, it's just a wounded Gengar, so I think we might actually come away from this with a continue. Well, unless we get destroyed by this. Okay, that barely did anything. <laughs> That's fine. A crit might have sucked a little, but it's not that bad. Wake up, please. Please? Uh. Uh. Alright, we're in for a long one, I see. Sleep yep. gimmicks in Gen 1. Not a crit still, at least. Just stop having dreams. It'll have nothing to eat. By the way, as an example of how ridiculous the critical hit mechanic is in Gen 1, and I, I know it's been tapered in a little bit in this in Stadium, um, I'm working on a Meowth run right now of uh of pokemon red in fact i should hopefully be beating it later today assuming things go as planned and i've got the move slash um meowth has a base speed of i believe 90 and i don't think i've ever had slash not crit uh, no i i had it not crit once but that's because it missed because the 256 glitch made it a 100 accuracy move miss hmm. oh thank god so, yeah, high crit chance moves on a high base speed Pokemon in Gen 1 is pretty much just a guaranteed crit. Uh, much like how Victory Bell's Razor Leaf. In Gen 1, I think it's like a 97% chance of crit. I know someone broke down the math on that, but I obviously I don't know if their math breakdown was correct. I'm surprised it's not like 100. Just with how the math and everything would work out. What is the, the Razor Leaf slash, um, the Razor Leaf slash, site. slash crit rate in Gen 1? Like, what's it supposed to boost it by? Let me have a look. And, and what is Slash's crit rate in Gen 2 onwards as well? Because I was under the impression that the crit rate on something with Slash was like 25% increase. Farfetch'd. Slash, Venusaur and Victory Bell's Razor Leaf, and Kingler's Crab Hammer are the only other stab moves that have a 99.6 chance to crit. Jesus. <laughs> That's pretty good. There's, uh, on the Bubblepedia page for critical hits, uh, if the move is be being used has a high critical hit ratio, uh, T, which stands for uh, a threshold value, uh, is multiplied by eight. Um, oh, Jesus. The maximum value for T is 255 out of 256. So that would be, yeah, a really high 99% chance to crit. Okay, I'm going Namael, whatever, yo, Volvodon. They got a lot of poison types. They got a lot of fighting types. Volvodon is just reliable, and it's also got Earthquake for poison types and Rock Slide for flying and fire and stuff. Uh, Raticate we don't have anything specifically no. for, but that's fine. Namael is awesome. They don't have any flying types. Um, oh, right, right, because um, Venomoth is poison and bug. Yeah. Uh, okay, we're fine then. Yeah, in Pokemon Stadium specific, there's weird rules for different crits. Like... Who's being used critical hit ratio, crab hammer, karate chop, razor leaf, or slash, T is multiplied by eight. <laughs> Does it just break down the math and it's very dense? Yeah. 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 Base speed plus 76 times two. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I, see, I... 
math was never my strong suit. I can do money math pretty quickly. Anything beyond that, when it comes down to, like, formulas, it's just all a blur to me. All right, we're off to a really strong start. He missed Toxic, so nothing's really going on yet. This is long before Toxic was 100 accuracy with Poison Pokemon, so... Okay, we can Surf. If they're sending out Rapidash against Namael, then I'm guessing that they know that I have type advantage on the whole team. Not a one-shot, though, will it be? Wow! Okay, I thought it was gonna at least hold on on red. That's nice. Alright, well, what's last if they decided to send out a Rapidash against a Starmie? Dragonite? Oh. I don't know why they didn't send Raticate out first. That seems weird. Okay, I'll use Psychic. Likely because and Raticate still can't take a hit. Yeah, I guess. But still, using a fire type against a water type? Yeah. Well, he survived a regular hit. <laughs> yeah, I guess. And he's got Super Fang. I don't know why he didn't use this first, but I guess he probably figured he was doomed either way, and in fairness, he was. Yeah. I was faster than Rapidash, and I one-shot it, so even if this came out first, it wouldn't change anything. Okay, well, that's two continues, then. That's a pretty good start. It is only Great Ball, though. Yeah. It'll, like, obviously, it'll get harder, but... Nothing too much to worry about yet. With those two victories, I think that means there's only 30 battles left if we win each battle. Yay. Yeah. Uh, 31 if we count you two. Only 30 battles left. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a lot, but our average of the last two recording sessions, I think that we might actually beat this game next recording session. If not that, then the third recording session, if like today is the first, next one is the second. That third one won't even be a full recording session, I think. And then we can start playing Mario Party every other week. Because why yeah. not? Oh, <laughs> I'm yeah. looking forward no. to that. I'm into that. All right, we, we got to kick some ass, though, if we want to play Mario Party quickly. Okay, I like that the Zubat is the highest level thing on his team, because I'm not worried about if Zubat shows up. Um, yep. Tentacruel could be a bitch, just because Tentacruel is really good in this. I'm still fine with Namael. Yeah, I it's only... It's only weakness there is Magneton and potentially Haunter. Yeah. yeah. It's our best starter and, uh, like, starting Pokemon. And I think Volvodon would be good to bring here in case Magneton shows up. Okay. Uh, in that case, we can't take Kadachi, so let's take... What I'm about whatever, fine... yo? Yeah, I'm <laughs> fine with whatever, yo. I think he'd do a decent enough job. If, if you know, disaster strikes and we lose Namael and then Tentacruel comes out, then whatever, yo, could probably still beat it. And for future reference, I believe Boldrum does have Earthquake, so if we can't bring mm. both um, both Volbadon and Kadachi and Namael, then we can just bring in Boldrum instead of Volbadon. Ooh, crit. Dead. Probably not even... I, I'm sure it wasn't even a necessary crit, honestly, because it's not a Gengar, but whatever. Um, yeah, Boldrum has high attack, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, high attack and earthquake, even if it's not stabbed, we'd probably still hit pretty hard. Oh, it's a shiny one. Oh, I yeah. Wish I wish that was shiny. It, I, I thought that Wait. purple and green is what the shiny was. Let me have a look. I'll use psychic, by the way, since it's not actually steel type in Gen 1. I was going to say, couldn't we have just switched so we don't get hit with, like, Thunder or Thunderbolt? Oh, uh, we dropped the special. Wow, that did a lot less than I thought it was going to. Yeah, Magneton's pretty, pretty strong, especially. Wow, I we thought are, I was going to just kick his ass there. I mean, his specials dropped, so the next Psychic would take him out, but we're paralyzed, so we'll attack second. Um, Volvodon it is then. Damn, I didn't need to get paralyzed there. I thought I'd just one-shot it. Uh, Magneton's shiny. Oh. Its magnets do not have any color on it, and yeah, it's just oh. kind of a, a beige. Wow, oh, that that's sucks. disappointing. It was going for Supersonic? Yeah, Parafusion. That's weird. I don't know why he wasn't going for an electric move on Namael. Uh, Earthquake will kill it. You know, I actually kind of like Magneton's shiny when you consider that it's kind of the same tinge 
as what you'd see in the Game Boy Color games. By which I mean Gen 1 Game Boy Color. Yeah. I'll have to look it up and see what I think. Licky Tongue. Okay. Well, that's not a strong team that he brought. It could have Bubble Beam. I'm going to Earthquake, do some damage, because even if it Bubble Beams, it couldn't one-shot us. Is it just going to use Supersonic? Is that maybe their gimmick? Maybe. Okay, no, Body body Slam is probably the best yeah, move it has. Yeah, Paralysis, too, so... Yeah. Uh, and nothing. <laughs> okay, I think I can brute force this one, then, if Body Slam only did that little. Yeah, I think if you hit him again, he loses. Okay, so Paralysis and Confusion combo. That's his gimmick. Yeah, yeah. Parafusion. Great. Oh, it's confused. And it hit. Uh, Bam. Okay. Is he just going to spam Body Slam now to do damage? Or maybe he has a buff he's going to use? Blizzard. Blizzard. That's going to hurt a little bit. Crit. Mm. Oh, there goes what should be an easy continue. Yep. Damn. Whatrio, uh, because you're probably faster. Yeah. I mean, we win. I I don't see any possibility of losing at this point. But <laughs> you no say continue. that, but this is a guy who has paralysis and confusion and yeah. blizzard and blizzard. I just really don't see losing at this point. I'm just gonna use psychic, and we're gonna see where it goes. What now? I don't think it'll kill. I think it'll get close. Up oh, hmm. there we go. We win anyway. Okay, that's three battles down. And we're only at the halfway point of the episode. If we're averaging, uh, what would that be? Six? If we if we keep on track, if we're averaging six wins an episode, that's really good. That'd be 18 a session, which would be like two sessions to beat the game. Although, I'm sure the later parts of the cups and the later cups will be harder and slower, so probably three play sessions left in the game. Mm, mm, a lot of grass never know types. The cup. Sometimes they're weird. Sometimes they're weirdly balanced. Strange colors on their victory bell. It's autumn victory bell. Does Bulldrum have fire blast? Yes, he does. Worth keeping in mind. Um, although and he's our got special earthquake. is. Yeah. So he's good against everyone here. I mean, his special's not horrific, but I'm sure they've got better. I'm also thinking that this is going to be a paralysis round. I kind of think so, too. I'm noticing All of his Pokemon can learn a paralysis move. Yeah, it's either... Well, he, maybe he has Spore on Parasect just because it's so good, but... Yeah, everything here could get Stun Spore or Thunder Wave, so... Ugh, that sucks. Okay, we don't have any flying moves. Uh, we have one fire move. Well, Bulldrum is the best starter we have. He's got Fireblast and Earthquake, he can take yeah, it Yeah, I agree. Uh, whatever Volvodon, Yo would be good. Yeah, whatever Yo, Volvodon, Boldrom with Boldrom first. I feel pretty good mm -hmm. about that. Let's Volvodon takes out half of them. Whatever Yo takes out almost the other half, and Boldrom's got something for everyone. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, our Fire Blast isn't the best, but it's quad effective. I'll go for it. It's 85 accuracy, so chances are we hit. Nice. Yeah, and he's dead. Okay, good. Yeah, it's melted. quad effective. I'd be pretty surprised if he hung on. Yeah. It also secretly had its dry skin ability in this <laughs> game, so it takes extra damage from fire. I choose to believe that that is accurate. Do we bother switching to Volvodon? I think no. you're fine. Yeah. I think Electabuzz is somewhat slow, too, so... Well, slower than Tor... He's slower than Tauros, but he's not super slow. And also, yeah. his defense is kind of low, so... Crit? Oh, that, that's a death. Okay, okay, there's no way. Yeah. Also, that color scheme is hideous. It is. He's a green. It's so... Grossly Maybe. vibrant. I don't know. He's Maybe a lime. it's a shiny color. Okay. 
That's so weird looking. I don't think we really need to switch if we don't want to. I'm just going to Fire Blast and see uh, I'd what happens. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Blizzard's more accurate. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I forgot about that in Gen 1. It's like 90? Mm. Oh, hey. my God! It's floating. <laughs> he looks really stunned that that just happened. I know! <laughs> he's, he's just, what the fuck was that? He's also floating, which is weird. He was not expecting some random bull to uh, to have frozen him. I can't get over how Banjo Kazooie his eyes look. They all do. Whenever they watch that, it's always Banjo Kazooie esque. Looks like they should fall off when I hit them and a honeycomb should come out. Yo! Uh -oh. Ooh, that's really good. <laughs> there we go. We didn't even take damage on that one. What, the the background for Rainbow? No, Victory Bell's shiny has, like, blue lips. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, Polyrath, Raichu... Wow, they actually have decent type coverage on this team. Hidachi's yep. um, good against three of them. Bulldrum's pretty good against quite a few of them. Thunderbolt? Actually, Namiel Psychic? would be good against four of them. Yeah, I blizzard. think I want to yeah. open with Namael just because that's almost always the opener. It's so good. Now, um, when it comes to Raichu, or I'm sorry, Rachu, <laughs> uh, do we want to bring Volvedon to resist it, or should we bring Bulldrome to take it out easily? Does Bol does Volvedon have a rock move? It does. Rock yes. slide. Yeah. See, he could use rock slide against Charizard if they brought and it. And Scyther. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, I'm Volvodon. Namael, Volvodon. Then I can't bring Kadachi, but... Uh, That's okay. Now it's whatever yo, Bulldrome, or Iodrome. I'm leaning towards Bulldrome because it also has Blizzard. Mm. It's also but like a tank. It's also it very is, fast. Yeah, it's it's just reliable. It hits I'm really hard. hard. It's really fast and can take a lot of hits. How does this team look? Fine with me. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's fine. We'll win with that. We yeah. might not get a continue, but we'll win. Yeah. If, if Raichu comes out, I'd s switch. Once we hit quarterfinals, I just assume that, like, it's a total crapshoot on if we get a continue. Yeah. Um, Psychic, just brute force, see what happens. Sure. What's the worst it has? Dizzy Punch? Mm. Mm -hmm. Probably Body Slam for the Paralysis. Yeah. Yeah. Crit? Just because our luck's really bad. Is it even going to live? No. No. <laughs> wow. Mom, are you okay? <laughs> we might be in for a one-sided Nope. Affair. Dead. Died right in front of him. Became one of the skeletons you see along the bottom of the screen. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Surface stab. We'll go with that. Baby became a Q-bone. Evolved into something different entirely. Ah. Will we crit for a one-shot? No. No. But it might just die anyway. <laughs> wow! Wow, that was really close! And crit. Yeah. Yep. Well, it's Slash. Well, Slash has that whatever multiplier to, to crit, so... Yeah, and it's Gen 1. If you breathe, you crit. If there we go. Breathes. I'm sorry, I think the Gen 1 rules are actually if they body slam, you get paralyzed. <laughs> if they use double slap, they'll hit you four times. Yeah. If I use double slap, I'll I'll get three hits once in my whole life and wonder if I was imagining it. The remaining Pokemon count is three. What are the rules on double slap in the old games, by the way? Because I swear to god I've seen the AI hit it more than twice. And I have never I, I think maybe I have hit it once once more than twice, but I'm not even convinced it's happened. Maybe I imagined that as a child. Uh, Fuck, is that... Okay, no, I'm still standing. Okay, we get another continue. What rule double slap are we in the air about? Sorry, what? Uh, it, it allowing the user to hit more than twice. Yeah, double slap inflicts damage, hitting the target two to five times per use. 
There's a 37.5 chance it'll hit two or three times and a 12.5% chan chance that it'll hit four or five times individually. Okay. Okay, so it's just, like, <laughs> basically a 10% chance that you hit more than three. Yeah, it's, it's the well, average. Well, technically it's a 25% chance if you stack 12.5 uh, and 12.5. Okay. Because the average is that you'll hit three times, and only the first strike can be a critical hit. That is bullshit. I don't know if I've ever <laughs> even hit three. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hold on. I gotta put a doorstop behind a door. I know this is riveting commentary, but you guys are gonna need to cover for me for a second. Oh no. They have a Kingler. Way back when, and I'm done with that joke. I did it! I saved the day! Okay, uh, what, are we, what are we using here? I'm seeing a lot of effectiveness out of electricity and water. So Kadachi, Namael. Nam Namael Kadachi. Namael. And drum, I guess. Yeah. No. Oh, wow. Wow. No, this is an easy <laughs> round. Now that I'm looking at it, all of our dudes counter just about their whole team. Okay, well, it's all over now. So what do you guys think when we, when we fight Mewtwo at the end of the game? Cubone and Kingler, the best Pokemon? Well, I think we need six, don't we? Oh. We bring six, but can only use three or something. I'm gonna get an electrode with Thunder Wave just so it's easier. <laughs> yeah, might be a good idea. I don't know. We'll try with rentals first and just see what happens. Cause I'm we'll curious. Probably beat, we'll probably beat me to the same way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Caterpie, Metapod, Kakuna, uh, Weedle, and then the heavy hitters, Kingler and Cubone. The others are for show. Uh, yeah, just I'll keep using Thunderbolt, I guess. What's the worst he can do to me? Fury swipes? Freeze you with Ice Beam. Well, yeah. I guess that is literally the worst he could do. Crit and freeze. Okay, no. No, that's the worst he can do. <laughs> well, he's got to use it two more times to make it the most effective. Yeah. We're fine, we're fine. We cut off cut him off at the pass, he didn't get to build it. Quack. I do really love his quack because it just straight up sounds like something you would hear around here. Okay, so like most of the Pokemon just die. What like like, like Golduck like that wasn't like, you know, you passed out. Like he died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kangaskhan. <laughs> Yeah. A lot of bug Pokemon have their, like, legs fall off and stuff after they die, like Paris. Like, look, at, look at Onyx, he's like, uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> Does Charmander's flame go out when he faints? I don't think so, but isn't it like the Pokédex in the first gen said if their tail goes out, they fucking die? Yep. Yeah. And I Direct know quote. In, I know That's in right. Coliseum and XD, uh, Spoink, when it faints yeah. in battle, its pearl falls off of its head and it falls down. Wow. And uh, in the lore, I can't remember which one it is. I think if it stops bouncing, its heart stops. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Now, I've never used a Spoink before, but I've always thought Spoink is the most awesome looking thing in the world. It's absolutely adorable. I want to do a Spoink run one day. I have no idea if it's possible. For all I know, it's total trash or it's way too good. I have no idea how it performs. All I know is his goddamn name is Spoink, and have you looked at that thing? It's the best Pokemon. <laughs> okay, Namael, once again, looking really good. What's your stance on uh, Buffalant versus Spoink? Buffalant versus Spoink? Okay, well, Spoink is the best because it's Spoink, and Buffalant is the best because it's the black dynamite of Tauros. Hell yeah. Uh, so mm. they're both the best. Uh, um, right, so by the way, Namael is awesome here. Volvodon, just in case Raichu's being a bitch. What do we want for the last one? Boldrome? Mm. I... Yeah, Boldrome would be good for, for yeah. coverage. Why not? No, he's not on our team. Oh, well, he can be in in Pokemon Stadium too. Wait, no, can he? he? Can. No, he, he was Gen 3? Yep. Wow, yeah, because Wobbuffet was Gen 2. Didn't get the baby. So he can't whenever we do Pokemon Coliseum and decide to import our own things. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, Psychic is still our strongest, although I wish I had a physical move, just for the sake of it's Clefable. I was trying to figure out what the ugliest Pokemon is Crit. that there's ever been. Yeah. Just, like, Google it to see, like, what they bring up. Oh, it's Dredagon. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dredagon. Gen 5 dragon based on an Agama, I think. Yeah, specifically how it looks in Gen 5. I'm, it's still, I'm sure it's still ugly oh. in new ones, because there's not much fixing that shit. But look at his Gen 5 sprite, where it's got all the jagged edges and everything. It looks like it was drawn in crayon. It looks goddamn awful. Yeah, you're... And it's shiny is... Oh my god. Orange yeah. head, green body. I yeah. believe Wadageek has told the story about him getting a shiny of that. I was in Gen 6, I was in the Friend Safari, found a shiny Drodagon, its nature sucked, so I wonder traded it. <laughs> That's the correct move. Honestly, the the uh, the nature could have been good and I'd probably give it away. But like, like I I hate Drodagon, someone out there will probably appreciate it. You should see these lists, like a lot of the number one spot has Jinx as the ugliest Pokemon. Jinx is fine, at least it's creative. Garbodor almost always makes the list. Just because it's garbage? I like Garbodor. Fuck them. Uh, Vullaby? Uh, Vullaby's pretty bad, yeah. Vullaby. I think I need it's to a, see that it's one. It's a vulture with an, a, a, a skull for, like, a diaper. Okay, yeah, but I kind of like, <laughs> like it. That sounds kind of dumb. But it's a chubby baby vulture. It's, it's dumb enough that I like it. Okay, I'll, I'll look it up sometime. Megamortar, I'll give them. Megamortar's ugly. <laughs> Megamortar is kind of ugly. I'm not a big fan of that one. Um, I, uh, the, okay. I generally don't like a lot of Gen 4 evolutions to Gen 1 Pokemon. Like, I think Megnazone is one of the dumbest Pokemon I've seen. It doesn't even look like it was drawn by the same person. It looks awful. I hate it. However, uh, what was Electabuzz's evolution? Electivire. Yeah. Electivire gets That's a pass. Also on the list. It gets a pass from me. One, because it looks like it's actually a natural evolution that was probably intended. And two, it looks like Do Dr. Robotnik. And that's one of my favorite video game villains. So he gets he a pass. Actually. It's, it's a lot of this. It's great. Barbacle. Barbarical. Yeah. Bar that's one of the ugly ones that they consider. I Isn't that, that just like a bland looking eel thing? No. no. It's like what am I thinking of? With legs and arms. Uh, are you thinking of Electros or Electric? I'm not thinking of that, but there's a blander looking eel. No limbs whatsoever. Huntail? Don't think that's it. Mm. I want to say it's Gen 3. Gorobus? That doesn't sound right either. Um. Okay, hold on. What's, what's this team? It's all psychic either than one. Uh, well... Overpower it with physical force. I was gonna say, I'm seeing a lot of physically frail Pokemon. Do we actually want to open it with Bulldrum for once? Sure. Yeah. I bet you we could body slam our way through a lot of this. Um, and Namiel to resist psychic types. Sure. Yeah. And then Volvodon is physically powerful as well if we want to go that direction. Sure. Although they've got two guys who are super effective against that. Eh. It won't be a yeah, big deal. Yeah, honestly, I think we've got this. I think Bulldrum Namiel can take care of most of it. The bottom four on the tree of ugliest Pokemon that tends to always be there. So, like, the least ugly of all the ugly Pokemon. They have Mr. Mime. Okay. Drowsy. Mm, they can get fucked on that one. Favor Pokemon territory. <laughs> Execute. Execute's fine. Yeah, it's got personality. Just, it's just eggs. It's, it's, it's it got be... personality. Like, what's so bad about it? Yeah, it can't be, like, ugly. It's just eggs. Yeah. And, and what I'll give them, Snubble is kind of ugly, so... Oh, uh, they can get fucked on that. I like Snubble. Snubble's ugly. <laughs> Snubble is supposed to have a grump face, but still be adorable, like like a Persian cat. Like my Persian cat. Well, actually, there's a there's the Alolan uh, Persian is one of the Pokemon on here. Yeah, I agree with that one. <laughs> Fucking Garfield face. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it does actually have a Garfield face. <laughs> Nose Pass almost always makes these lists too, so. <laughs> Nose Pass is fine. 
Nose pass, pass feet pass. Probo pass sucks. Nose pass okay, is fine. Feet pass was designed to be ugly. Ruck yeah, Fish. that's the gimmick. Ruck that's not Ruck fair Fish on feet pass. Hit or miss, I feel. The next uh, Muck bad. makes these a slot. Per ugly makes these lists. It's there's ugly in its name. Oh, it's yeah, yeah, that's that, that's an easy giveaway. Yeah. The the ones that these lists are not gonna get from me is when they're like Golbat's ugly. I'm like Golbat's not ugly. <laughs> Golbat is awesome. Uh, D Diggersby. That one's not great. I don't think it's ugly. It's the it's the Gen Six bunny. Yeah. The oh. evolution of the base one. If it's what I'm thinking of, it's fine. Clef is not ugly. Clef is what's wrong with Clef? I don't know. Oh, our uh. I don't know how to say that. Archipo Ar Archaeops. That one. Oh, Archaeops. Archaeops in kind of Gen 5 looked a little ugly. Like its sprite looked a little ugly in that, but I'm sure it looks fine in newer games. Yeah, it rounded out a little bit. Yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon like that where they didn't look so hot in the gen they came out, but they cleaned it up a little in, in later years and made it look nice. That Ducklet. happens plenty. Ducklet, yeah. Ducklet sprite Ducklet. in Gen 5 looks like shit. Ducklet in other gens and in its like watercolor artwork looks awesome. It gives me like uh, far fetched vibes, you know? Proud bird. I like that. Raising its wing as well. Like it's an yes. it's, in its official art, both duckling and far fetched, I think, are holding up their wing. I'm sorry, did you say duckling? I might have said duckling, but I meant to say ducklet. Everybody, murder this man. He said the word he didn't mean to say. I think that's a phrase, you idiot. Mm, I don't know about that. Okay. Rhyperior? Not a I don't I don't know how I feel much. about Rhyperior. I kind of like him, but that might just be bias of using him. Rhyperior is just... I don't know. It feels slightly off to me, but I also don't have a big problem with it. I'm fine with it. I like Rhydon. It's a uh, Slurpuff. Slurpuff. Eh. Yeah, it's not a great looking Pokemon. Mm, don't He's really like know that play. one. Crabominal? Crabominable, I will concede, even though I like... I, I kind of like using it, even though it sucks. Its design is also not great. It's like two negative things to one positive thing. Uh, Larian, Mr. Mime? I like What's Larian, wrong, What's Mr. wrong with that? That, that one's fun. <laughs> He's a... He's a tap dancer. Okay, this article, they've got some, they have some serious anti Mr. Mime sentiment going on, right. and I'm not sure I'm okay with it. Do they have Dra Mr. Rhyme on there? Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna boycott that article. Do they have Busta Rhymes on there? Because I'm gonna be upset. I'm sorry, was that the finals? Yeah. Wait, we that was the, that agree. was the finals? Yes. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> We have to at least agree, Jurakovish is ugly. Well, they're, okay. The <laughs> the Gen 8 fossils are meant to be, like, you, you're you mismatching okay. uh, different fossils that are not supposed to go together. So, therefore, they're likely going to be ugly. Like, yeah, you're, Dracovich, you're making weird Dracozolt. abominations. Yeah. Dracozolt is this tiny electric bird uh, head and torso <laughs> on top of a giant... <laughs> <laughs> uh, dragon tail and f uh, like feet combo. Yeah, but that's amazing because it looks ridiculous. This is a giant like derpy fish head <laughs> on top of the same dragon body. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah it's funny. <laughs> I've looked ridiculous. at those. Up I love before. the concept of G the Gen Eight fossils so much. It's fucking. It, it, it's one of those things where, like, old Pokemon often has dark implications. This is new Pokemon having dark implications. Like, what are the ethical standards of reviving fossils in the Pokemon world when we're, we'll just mash them together and see how they come out? <laughs> like, they're yep. some yeah. fucked up. I, how, how many times do you think they mash together a fossil, try to re revive it? And it's just immediately died of organ failure because that configuration of Pokemon does not work. There's some like full metal alchemist horror <laughs> bullshit going on here. Like there are some serious ethical quandaries with reviving a fossil made up of multiple different animals. <laughs> oh my God. All right, uh, on the next episode, everybody, we probably beat another cup all in one episode. Until next time, have a nice day. See ya.